The Maclari Treasure Museum is on the site where the survivors of the 1715 fleet made their way to shore. The Treasure Coast gets its name because of all the treasure that's been found here. 1715 fleet was 11 or 12 ships and they were carrying gold and precious items. Look at this building in 1715 and the awesome part is until this day they've only found things from six of the ships. Mm. Five ships have never been found and the wealthiest treasure ship ever found in the world is the Atosha and one of these treasure ships that has not been found yet is the Queen's Dowry ship and if it was found today it's going to be worth m millions more than the Atosha. So wow. but this is coin, this coin, those four coins and the three stuck in the coquina rock, those coins don't look a bit alike and they're all the same coin. And they're all the same coin because they weigh the same. And it, that's worm rock. And they're finding on the beach a lot of uh, emeralds in worm rock. Hmm. And it's got 11, uh, or it's got seven uh, emeralds in it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see them. There's one, two, mm -hmm. and there's another one mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. But, and the other interesting thing about this is that where I was brought up, when you went to a battlefield, you always had cannonballs, mm -hmm. and they were stacked up cannonballs. Mm -hmm. This is a cannon shop. See that? Oh, no. yeah. Now look, look at, look down here. And if you had a cannonball and you shot it, it would go straight and make a hole. These spun through the air, break oh. the hole leaking down, and the and it, the ships would be dead in the water. Ooh. And this is our Smart. this is our yeah. most one of our most valuable things. This is an astrolabe, and it's worth a thousand or a million dollars. And mm -hmm. it's it was used. There was two ways when these ships were out in the water in the 16 and 1700s. They wanted to know where they were, and it, you could read the stars or you could read the sun. And an astrolabe was used to read the sun. And the sad part about it is, see, they would there's little holes in these bars, here, mm -hmm. and and that's what they would use to look at. It. And there were only two or three people on the uh, ships that were educated enough to do the math, to, mm -hmm. to use these, and eventually they would go blind oh if, they, if they navigated by... The Hurricane sank 11 Spanish treasure ships along the east coast of Florida. Remnants of these ships are still being found from Cape Canaveral southward to St. Lucie Inlet. This treasure, the Flota, sailed to present-day Mexico, where they loaded not only gold and silver, but a variety of goods from as far away as the Orient. These goods held enough value to be transported halfway around the world to Spain. These are some of the other items that they found from the treasure ships. This is a gold rosary chain. This 12 pounder cannon was found just a half mile offshore, fully loaded. Real treasures. Brightly colored flags flew, cannons roared, and all wished us Godspeed. The weather was also spectacular, with wispy white. Take a quick look at the weapons of war the musket, the crossbow, and the cutlass. A pistol. Dagger, and of course the armor. This museum has so much. A short walk on the boardwalk to the beach. And we're here. From this point, we can see both the Indian River Lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean. You can pretend you're on a ship. And the compass rose is pointing to the north, as always. We can walk out to the beach in the shade of the sea grapes. Well, wasn't that fascinating? Sebastian Inlet State Park is well known by locals. Unfortunately, it sometimes gets looked past by people who come looking for more glamorous beaches. Since we're looking for off-the-trails museums, we're going to look at the fishing museum. It's all types of lures. Oh, 
Reservation. Well, fishermen should enjoy this. They have turtle walks here too at night. the fish. Uh, the fishing boat. Uh, 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 it's a great place to fish. So, uh, and here's the inlet. Lots of fun over there. Let's have some lunch at the Long Point Bait and Tackle and Restaurant. It's a little off the trails. That's cute. Lunch is here and it's a Cuban sandwich with plantains, or plantains, and there's a sweet dipping sauce for it. And already it's delicious. Are you enjoying it? Excellent. I can tell. <laughs> Sometimes we hear about a place and one of our new friends tells us. And that's the case with this, our cheap car refuge. Let's go on in. It's so nice and cool. A little high in there. This is Sergeant Major. Hello, Sergeant Major. Florida has a lot of turtles. Do you see the skulls? Mm -hmm. The purpose of the center is to educate people and to take care of the turtles. When you're finished learning, you're shopping. Out on the deck is a spectacular view. See the kayakers? Yes. Woo! <laughs> and in the butterfly garden is of marine life made with recycled lids. That's so cool. What a great way to make use of the lids and bottle caps. Fun in the sun at the inlet. Definitely low tide. A lot of beach today. Very clear water. 